Hey guys, welcome to um, the video today which is about the thalamus. It's a continuation of the last video and the mnemonic is a bit of a long one. It goes, adult monkeys love irritating male rhinos. So adult monkeys love irritating male rhinos. Now this is for the um, names of the nuclear groups of the thalamus. And then we can start now. So uh, a bit about the thalamus. So it's the processing and the distribution center distribution, okay? It's a relay station. The thalamus is an important structure. Relay thalamus. <laughs> The relay station so it's got quite a lot of functions obviously there's the relay station in within the cortex so it's for consciousness sleep memory etc uh, sensory motor functions all of that so it's got two poles which you need to know this is just general information uh, it's called the anterior pole and the posterior pole and the posterior pole is also called the pulvina pulvina and it's got a function which i'll tell you in a bit so the thalamus is separated from the methothalamus by the superior brachium or brachium now the superior brachium comes from the superior colliculus which is in the midbrain and it's to do with the visual cortex so superior brachium brachium and it is also separated from the caudate nucleus by stria terminalis Okay, all right. So it's covered by the lamina affixa all around, and it is covered. This is all around. Then superiorly, on the superior surface, is covered by the or lined by the stratum sonale, and the lateral surface is lined by the external medullary lamina. All right, now we can move on to our mnemonic and the nuclear groups. So the first one would be the adult, which is the anterior nuclear group. And this group, if you notice, has to do with the limbic system solely because it's a part of the circuit of Papez for recent memory. So I'm going to write memory here. It's a part of the circuit of Papez. Right, so it receives from the singular gyrus, receives from the singular gyrus, and it gives to the mammillary bodies and the hypothalamus. And this, these two are a part of the limbic system. All right, okay. So um, then we move on to the second one, which would be monkeys, and that would be the medial nuclear group, of course. Medial group. And this is for obsessive thinking, anxiety, etc. And uh, uh, damage of this section leads to transient amnesia. Obsessive thinking. Tension, etc. Okay, so um, the medial group has to do with the amygdaloid. Amygdaloid, so it receives from the amygdaloid nucleus. It receives from the olfactory cortex and the globus pallidus. Then you've got the third one, which is love, and that would be the lateral nuclear group. The lateral nuclear group is very important. If you have seen my pathway videos, you'll know that the VPL ventral, posterior lateral, and VPM ventral, posterior medial uh, nuclei of the thalamus are important relay stations or uh, structures for the tracts, the sensory tracts, whether it's the dorsal column, the lemniscus pathway, or the neospinothalamic pathway, or the main principal sensory trigeminal pathway, etc. And this uh, also includes the pulvinar. 
The pulvinar receives from the metathalamus, the genicular bodies, and dual cortex. Um, if you see the picture of the thalamus, you'll notice that the metathalamus is situated right beside the pulvinar, so that's why. And then we move on to irritating number four, which is the intralaminar nuclei group. This is a sensory motor integration center, so it's like literally receives from the motor cortex or like the extrapyramidal system. So it receives from different areas of the brain, like the basal ganglia, and projects it onto the cortex. Okay. Then we've got number five, which is the male, and that would be the midline nuclei. The midline nuclei is in, uh, similar to the first one, anterior nuclear group, just because it's for memory and arousal. So it projects onto the amygdaloid, the hippocampus, the nucleus accumbens, all of the limbic system structures. Then they move on to the rhinos, which is the reticular nucleus, and this is like acts like a gate. So the reticular nucleus acts like a gate, it's a gating system. So if this is the thalamus, and this is the reticular nucleus, and this would be the cortex and the putamen, it acts like as a gate. So they pass through this and project onto here or vice versa. So that would be the thalamus for you. You need to know these that are important and a bit of general information. Um, so hope you liked it. There you can see a picture of the thalamus. Um, so the thalamus forms the floor of the lateral ventricle and you can see it's a pair and both of them are connected by the inter interthalamic adhesion and you can uh, spot this in your practical dissection class so in case you're in your pin test you have it you, you should be able to identify it it's like a small bump on the side of the thalamus and it's called the interthalamic adhesion and there you can see all the nuclei how they're um, aligned and you have the pulvinar which I told you see it goes to the visual cortex or to the auditory cortex you can see the methothalamus over there or just next to the pulvinar and you pull the nuclei so this is how the thalamus looks 